previously on the Mike Knox Show. We are live because people, a smorgasbord is about to happen today. People, that's my favorite word. I've been using ever since I was in sixth grade, so I'm never going to stop using it. Don't judge me. Just listen to me. Don't like it. Listen anyway, people. The bloodline. Will The Rock turn on that? I, I, listen, people, a lot of things going on in the wrestling world, a lot of things, a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things to put forward, just a lot of things to just get off our chest, right? Let's get a lot off our chest today in, in this crazy, zany world of professional wrestling. People, welcome to the shows, the the pros, Aya told and Aya, all that good stuff you, the intelligent wrestling fans, all choose to listen to. My name is Mike Knox, spelled with three X's, because, damn it, I just say the things you just refuse to say, so I do that. But today, we're going to talk wrestling, we're going to talk MLW, we, go, we, we got an interview today, y'all, right? You know, I, I don't really do this kind of thing, right? That's, that's, not, that's not my thing no more, right? My, for, my, for, my, for, my, for my team backstage, shout out to the Z is silent, shout out to 301 King Vaughn Jr. holding us down. The Victorious Ones podcast and Z is silent also. We do a lot of things around here. So y'all might want to just catch up, right? So it's that time of year. It's the season to be given in the world of wrestling, in my opinion, right? It's the season to be jolly. And today we're going to bring on Mr. AJ Francis to the program. We want to talk big in the shop today, Pauls. But you get what I'm putting down up in the barber shop, okay? But today, the question of the week is this. Every show has to have a question when you're listening to the Mike Knox show, right? We got to evolve, right? It's, it's like, damn it, you're after midnight, continue to throw the water on us. Because we're going to turn into a bunch of gremlins, okay? It's time to start eating around here, okay? And, and it's time to start eating people in the world of how to understand professional wrestling. Because damn it. For all this time I've been doing it, you haven't caught on yet. Unpop Review Wrestling is where you find us. Follow everything. Thank you, everybody in the chat room. Thank you for all that good stuff. But I, I must have listened to a thousand podcasts over the weekend. Now I turn into the best. Talk to him, Mike. Grandpa, B. That's a lot of damn podcasts. <laughs> by, by, by the way, what's going on, George? Oh, home from the hospital, man. Okay. Take the meds. But we, we told you, we got you. But this, this is this is gone, okay? We put the hands on this. This is going to get healed, George. We got you, brother, okay? A uh, lot to talk about today, okay? But everybody says, from all the things we saw, y'all saw the SmackDown show last night, right? The Z is silent, okay? Eva Dahl, the executive consultant. A little late, but it was still here and still great nonetheless. Check that out as well. But SmackDown had their shows, and Raw had their shows, and the internet had everything. And I just think today's a good day to talk about this right here. This is the talk, right, Vaughn? The Rock's going to turn. He didn't put up the ones, right? He goes, here's how you know you're an intelligent wrestling fan, and you're tuned in and glocked in with other intelligent wrestling fans. So I, I told one of the intelligent wrestling fans, right, uh, yo, don't tell nobody. I don't even want to tell this to DJ right now. I'm not going to tell Dice. I'm going to just keep this for myself, right? Duh, they're all some intelligent wrestling fans. And it was like, yeah, we, we, we all know this. He, he put the L up. Like, what are you, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> and this is why I always say, never say, I told you so. I called it. Yeah, we can, we can say that with certain things, right? You know what I remember people calling? X-Pac going to be in the Royal Rumble this year. That was like a guaranteed fucking T, right? <laughs> that they said X-Pac was going to be in the, in, 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 the, in the Royal Rumble, you know? I'm glad I would I like to have seen it, but I'm glad we didn't get no older throwback people in the in, in this year. But the raw review, we're gonna talk about raw real fast is AJ would be here in a second. So raw, we always gotta do it, right? Cody comes out. I'm not sure if that's actually Becky's jacket this time. I know Roman says he wears his, his wise clothes and all, but I gotta say I I I would probably rock this one. Okay, I, I like the fur. I'm that flamboyant. Shout out to Magic Johnson, right? So he comes out, and personally, I thought this was the promo of this entire uh, segment between what's going on right now at this road to WrestleMania. You know, I, I thought Seth telling him, you know, which DJ all the time mentions, and we all know and know this as well, 
He's the only one that can really get in Roman's head. You, you should believe that by now, right? Because not what I think, what you think, what we all think. It's what the story they told us tells us, right? Because wrestling is hashtag what guy said it with me. Say it, say it with me. Come on. There it is. Storyline, right? So as we follow the story, he's the only one. I made him. I created him. I, I put this shield around him. And, 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 and I got to give you that shield of protection as well. We don't know where this thing is going. Who cares? It's like that pimple that you hope don't turn white. You got to bust it and just go ahead and let, 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 watch it grow. You got to watch it grow. So then, Cody, ha, 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 I'm going to call out The Rock for all my crybaby bitchy Cody fans, which I hate this, by the way, because I'm a Cody Mark. But, Cody, I'm not on your side in this storyline. For storyline purposes, Cody, I am not a fan of you. All right? Is that fair? And I and it's fair to also say this, Vaughn. If he does win the title at WrestleMania, I'm still going to cheer. All right? I just won't have on his gear like the idiot when the bloodline lost They had on all bloodline gear and cheer for Sammy and Kevin Owens. Right? I won't be that kind of guy, Z. That's not, that's not my style. Okay? But Cody comes out, calls out the great one. Duh, he's not the bear. We know it's gonna be on SmackDown. That's Fox. That's football. That's where he has to be. They're paying him to be on there, not USA Network. Let's use our heads, people. Right? So then we get damn it. <laughs> Shit. The number two face in wrestling. <laughs> Jay Uso. Like him or not. The bandwagon of that blue stuff. See, I'll rock the red. He rocks the blue. That's two points this show. So just let you know. We're doing it for you. Hands up. Get your dance on. He comes out and he challenges. It's, 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 that's happening tonight, by the way. Okay. Him for the Intercontinental Championship. Or can I say it right? The Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. That's what it used to be called, right? So I like that name. But we get a tag team match and, you know, all that nonsense happened. And since they, you know, Nakamura beats Sami Zayn and Sami Zayn's back on that story he had before where he just can't get enough. Will he get into the Elimination Chamber on the weekend? We just don't know. I'm a fan of Cody on this one. A lot of people are. I, I got to say this, though. I think it's an age thing. I think it's an age thing where people are with The Rock and Cody. I, I really do believe that in my life. Uh, Garcia Chicken and Drew is great. Big Hill. Oh, listen. I said in the beginning, if, you have, if it's your first time checking in, what's going on, George? Uh, you got, Jeffrey, you got to understand that Drew McIntyre should be the one for the title, but soon as Senior Punk fell down out, out, the, out the woodworks, it had to be him, okay? Give us Uso Gunner ladder match. and I take any ladder match at WrestleMania, okay? You got me sold automatically. I'm already in the building, okay? But don't, like you just brought up, there it is. Ah, ooh, ah, kingdom. Listen, if, if I'm not paying the Cody side, any good picture here in my fast review, it's because I just don't think this is the biggest story, right? They haven't even got together again since the press conference, to be completely honest, right? So since the press conference, they haven't been together. It's two weeks in now, right? Three shows in. But Drew McIntyre, and that shirt is on sale, by the way, on WB Shop. I don't know why I just popped that, but I was looking today for some things, um, and I, I came across that the shirt is actually really there. Y'all probably didn't do that, but I don't, you know, y'all shop all the time on there. I just get mine when I want to get it. So, but Cody comes out, the biggest face, the crowd is going crazy. Everybody's here for Cody, but there's another title that's just sitting here that I think wrestling fans are forgetting to tune into and listen to. I think it's important that we, we, we get to this, this part of the story, right? And we'll get there. Then SmackDown came. And, 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 damn it, is that an L for being a loser? Is that, like, because we can read a lot into this. I think you should, right? I also think that it's important to know who the, no disrespect here, the nerds of the wrestling crumbs that, not the dirt sheets, but the ones that really fall, the ones that let me down the yellow brick road to knowing CM Punk was always coming back from the beginning. I can't say I called it, but there were people who were following the, the things that WWE was saying. They were putting, like, clues together. Like, there, it's like some old Da Vinci Code shit when it comes to wrestling fans, some of y'all out there. And I respect it. I ain't got that in me. So I look for you to be that citizen reporter for me, right? I ain't going to do a dirt sheet shit. I'm going to look at you. You, you. Are you pointing me there? Two plus two made four. You add six more, that's ten. Like, you, you gave me the, the easy addition to figuring out the story. So 
but a lot can be sold here. Like the first thing I noticed was, are you going to sit here and tell me that the rock did not know that he didn't throw the ones up? Like, so the, so the fans, this is also the fans dice that said he's out of touch. He didn't know how to throw the ones up. <laughs> the rock joined the gun club. Oh, I mean, he already got the guns out. All right, he's already out there showing off. What's going on, Charmaine? He's already out there showing off anyway with his arms out, right? Let's, let's talk about how to, you know, well, how is this? The order did not go right here, okay? Let's put this back up because he should be coming up soon. So I'm looking forward to this right here. Um, going to take a break in a second too, but this, this is, this is, this is, should the bloodline trust the rock after seeing that picture, after seeing that? And not even just because the picture was there. They were in the ring with them. Did y'all notice certain things, right? What he said, how he said it, how Roman wasn't paying him no attention, right? Roman wasn't paying him, no, Jay wasn't paying him no attention, but Paul Heyman was. But we're going to debt that, all right? We're going we gonna to get into some, some real wrestling shit. They make all kind of weird Pop-Tarts now. That's why I don't let my kids eat them, y'all. Welcome back to the Mike Knox Show, y'all. We just had AJ Francis on the show, Top Dollar interview brought to y'all because damn it it's black history month and damn it he said yes so <laughs> there, there it is but listen back into this but y'all comments were amazing by the way thank you for your support your like your follows your shares your retweets i'm on the road listen because within my team my team says things like there's no such thing as competition it's all one big show right one big family and i believe that on pop review wrestling on pop review entertainment to me is all one big entity but if they're not on every show, the NXT show, the SmackDown show, the whatever shows that know that it does a show, don't want to be better than that show they had before, then what are we doing this for, y'all? I'm not here from a vacation. I'm not here taking away from my kids back there waiting for daddy to get finished so they can eat their dinner. None of that. I'm here to make this shit work like top dollars. I can make phone calls. I don't got dirt sheets to call. I got my own goddamn phone. Follow Mike Knox, y'all. Three X's, damn it, because I'm hardcore. I've been done did this shit. Now we're going to talk about this shit right here. Should we trust The Rock, y'all? Should we trust him? Look at Solo Sokoa's face. He don't tell you shit. Don't even tell your lies. Say I do. He always looks the same, y'all. Stop it. Okay? <laughs> but first of all, check out The Rock. The Rock is splendid. If you didn't like The Rock, George, it's because, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong on this one. Dice, uh, uh, Vaughn, let me know in the chat as well. Do y'all think it's an age thing? Because from what I've read, it's like a lot of the younger fans, I'm over The Rock, right? A lot of the older fans, it was great, right? So I think that's where it is. But you cannot say it today. And here's the biggest debate. That's why I put this picture up, right? Because it was on the SmackDown show last night. It's been on everybody's show, right? Which rock is this? Clearly to me, this is who it is. It's, 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 it's my opinion, right? You got classic rock. That's right before corporate, but right there, like, no, right there, corporate rock. And you got Hollywood rock, right? Then you got the rock, to me, that's been coming back and forth anyway, speaking. That big, I'm bigger than life movie star rock. And you got what you got right there. Pitbull on steroids. Just look at him. <laughs> Admire him and love it, as DJ would say. Look at the Versace, not Fosachi. Fasachi. Hear what I said, people? It's called Fasachi, not Fosachi. Fix that shit. But look at it. The man came in here and got goosebumps. The interview was great. Thank you. Uh, the match of Hollywood and classic rock. But he really still has goosebumps. But y'all sitting here trying to tell me that all them people wasn't there because of Dwayne? The rock? I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all tripping. And everybody said, oh, it was sold out beforehand. Was it? Was it sold out before? You know, they all be knowing it. They tell you every event is sold out. And I go to a lot of events and them shits don't be sold out. Okay? Just because all the tickets were purchased or they were whatever they went to don't mean they're going to have 20,000 people in the building. Okay? So let's, let's be intelligent wrestling fans because I know you are. Okay? Then he comes out. Look at the crowd on their feet for the great one, The Rock. He is back. Just, just, just admire the crowd. Right? Telling you what it is. Look at him. I'm telling you right now, Roman. This is the bloodline. This is my people. Do you smell what I'm cooking at WrestleMania? You will leave a loser. Anybody else peep that? I watched it like four times to make sure 
Because, again, the bread comes to be laid, and then you always got people in your ears. You kind of get discombobulated. But you can't discombobulate me when it comes to being intelligent. But only my wife can do that because I got to be in the boudoir and things happen. You can't even see my face, okay? But I'm not discombobulated about this. That man said multiple times. Well, not multiple times. I've watched it multiple times. You're going to lose. You're going to leave WrestleMania loser. What the fuck does that mean? Was he? Who was he really talking about? Because if you looked at it, and that's why I'm going to get this picture. And this is, I still, still got the wrong one. I couldn't really find the image. There it is. If you go back and watch it, Heyman's face is, is perplexed as he's saying this, right? Roman's looking away, being Roman, being all cocky. Jim, Jim, Jimmy's back there. <laughs> Cuz here now. What? I can do what I want. Cuz here. I'm eating good now. Nah. Solo just sitting there being the enforcer. Do I got to beat your ass too? <laughs> Stop Dollar just followed us on Twitter. Thank you. This is the show that Paul's listening to. Right? He's sitting there, you know what I'm saying? Being all, like I just said, damn, cuz I gotta beat your ass if you cheat on my tribal chief. Okay. Uh also, we was um pointing to Roman when he said it too. Y yes, he did. Yes, he did. He pointed right at Roman. And so this led to all the speculation, which gives us to the title of today's show. Okay. The bloodline, will The Rock turn on them? Here's some things I want to say about that because I don't know where they're going with this, right? Everybody will tell you it was so obvious. That's like not throwing up the ones. It was so obvious, right? What's actually going to happen here? You see it right there. Everybody's, he's, he's constantly talking the entire time right at Roman Reigns. And then the infamous, everybody's making fun of this picture. This is like, this is, what was worse? The Rock throwing up the L or Titus O'Neil tripping going through the bottom of the ring? One was an accident. This was not. That's why I brought it up. One was an accident. This was not. I, 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 but does that mean he's going to turn on the bloodline? He said, us the bloodline. He did. He's, he called it. This is my family. The bloodline is here. Right? But I also have some times with saying this. Jimmy sometimes throws up the wrong hand. It's always supposed to be the right hand. But Jimmy always throws up that left hand. Plus, he said, Cody's story is endings. Ours is just beginning. <laughs> this is why you're an intelligent wrestling fan and a knoxer. <laughs> okay? Because you pay attention to the small details. Whenever you're ready to get married, you're going to make a nice husband because you pay attention to details. <laughs> That's why I've been married for so long. Okay. Uh, and I like to, and, I, and I'm good in a bit. Yeah, she told me. That's not my words. Okay. <laughs> all right. We can all say what you want to say about Mike Knox. Laugh all you want to. She says, I'm with you for that. Okay. So, damn it. It don't matter what you think. I'm putting it down. Okay. <laughs> but, hell rock. Or one big cover up, right? Which one is it, Dice? Do you know? Anybody know? Comment below. Let me know. Do you trust The Rock? Do you trust him? Um, you know what, Dice? Uh, you're back there. Can I bring you on? Is it safe to bring you on? All right. I want to hear your opinion on this. Give me a second. Because I definitely want to hear your opinion on this a little bit, real fast. Uh, go ahead. Um, what the heck's going on, people? Fix it. There we go. <laughs> um, sorry if y'all hear some no, it's Pepper fine. Pig in the background. Um, we like I, Pepper Pig. We got kids. Do you the, trust The Rock? Right now, yes. Right now. The man has stated multiple times on ESPN, Pat McAfee show, first take, he's a long gamer. Pauls. Y'all are looking at the small picture. Pauls. I've said it multiple times. They're going to crack Hogan's record. And I'm, what, I'm, I'm, what, what way, shape, or form does cracking his record mean that Cody Rhodes is going to win? These old ass records need to be updated. Do y'all not understand it? If there's, if it's not now, then it's never. And the, the, the stain that Hulk Hogan has for, for multiple people, say it that again. man who won't say, say it, his say name. Say it one more time. Say it. Say it. <laughs> The stain that people have 
for that man, Hulk. Even, that even you heard your son in the background. Even he made it when you said it a second time. <laughs> he even like it. <laughs> Say uh, that like I, said, name. I just think it's I just think it's a long game, like he okay. said. Um, and and he he will turn on him, but in the time that he's it, it has to be at a major show. This is not going to be like WrestleMania backlash or like well, but you that's know. That's the thing is, but but, it, but Russell, would it be at WrestleMania? That is the question right now around this entire storyline to the point where what happened when he shows and I, I, you know I, I put these slides together sometimes i'm like i should do them but you know what i don't even care about having the rest of the week it's all about this right do you trust the rock where is it going you sit there i i've said it as well from the beginning I, i'm not taking i agree with dj i just don't take the reason why these old people work gotta be broken that's his thing that's his thing. He, uh, these old people got to go someday. No, nobody will ever be a better rapper than Biggie Smalls. Didn't say they were going to be a bigger, financial, more famous rapper, but lyrically, no one will ever be Biggie. Like, mentally, in my mind, no one will ever be better than Michael Jordan. It doesn't matter what you say. That's all it is for me. That's all it is for me. You come after Michael Jordan, you come after Biggie Small. Just bring it, bitch. That's right, and fuck you, Hogan. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> sure did. Okay, so, but I do think that record has to go. <laughs> okay, and I do think Roman's going to break that record. And if you do the math, because I'm not that smart to do the math, I, the record is supposed to be like at Madison Square Garden. Cody can do it there. I think they, I think the fans and the crybabies, I just think you guys are just, just, I, I just don't understand why everything had to be your way right away. But then again, you have plenty of fish. You have all these sites you can go get a girl from or a guy from because you don't want to go out there and meet them normally or you're afraid to go and be in front of somebody because you're an introvert and all these other things. You know, what they tell you before you're a kid, you, 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 you can find a good woman at church, you, in the library. Uh, uh, at the park, hell, anything I'm going to the night called the Mike Knox Show. You just go in the chat room, it's gonna be plenty of girls there. See, you can do all that kind of stuff, but again, thanks to H.A. Francis Top Dollar for coming on. But real fast, um, let's talk about this elimination chamber 